to your show. Welcome to another episode of Fashion Doctor 101. Uh, this is a show that features a lot of fashion designers, uh, makeup artists, fashion people, and the fashionista, and the people that are showcasing the fashion. So today, in the studio, I've got with me a beautiful queen. She's so beautiful. She is a serial uh, She She was based in the state or in the UK, but she's going to tell us where she's from. Uh, you can tell, her body will tell you if she's been in Syria alone, the color will tell. But if she's been out there, you can tell by yourself. Uh, this show has been welcoming different kind of people in the industry. And today we have her in the building to tell us about how she's been using fashion to sell a product, a business, a empire as a whole. So before you get to meet, I'm going to go on a short break. As soon as we come back, you get to meet the beautiful queen. I mean, Osh Money. Keep watching. All right, you welcome back it's to the show Fashion Doctor 101. And today in the studio we have a beautiful queen. Like I said, she's no one else but a serial Indian movie queen. Uh, you're welcome to the show. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience watching you all there? Let them know who is in the building. Uh, thank you, Ashwani. Um, I'm Susan Desmet. CEO of Fresh Entertainment, and I'm glad to be here this morning. Uh, it's good to have you around. Uh, Posh Entertainment, what's it all about? Let's start with that. Okay, Posh Entertainment is all entertainment that are based solely on movies. Okay. Yeah, like we've just done our first movie wow. called His Mind. His Mind? Yeah, His Mind or is yours? His Mind. Okay, it's very right, yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. So what's mine? Is it money that is mine or what is mine? The is mine. The bubble? The bubble. Jesus is yeah. the most. <laughs> so, what, can you brief us about the movie? What's the movie uh, um, playing around? The movie was meant to be premiered but due to the pandemic and um, it's been postponed. It's about... I just want to leave it that way so you can watch it and, and get to um, know. Yeah, get because if I try to explain, it's, it's then deep. I'm yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna finish everything because okay. I couldn't stop. Okay, it's my it's my uh, as the movie been premiered or mm. it's still in plan. It it was supposed to be premiered gone April, but as I said earlier, on, due to the what is going yeah, on, yeah, yeah. yeah, it has the world been pandemic. postponed. Yeah. So when are we preparing this month? I'm thinking about next year, trying okay. to give it, because we, we're still on a band that needs to be lifted, oh, yeah. so oh, yeah. like, I just want to give it more time. So, so we you can re-strategize and plan yeah. properly. Sure, yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, like you shot the movie, is my, you shot it in Sierra Leone or where? Yeah, it was shot in Sierra Leone. All actors, all Sierra Leone. All actors, some of them came from the United States and the director came from America and one of the lead act, um, Big H, she came from the States. So yeah, it was like something I was trying to get like a blockbuster, just like people with um, the face. I was trying to get like all the face collaborated together on the one on the of which I did. Oh, that's amazing. It's really good for you people to be doing that. Where were you based? Were you based on the UK, the US? Or I'm the... based in the UK. Oh, okay. We heard so much about the UK people. They're doing a lot and it's good that you two are doing something. So it's good to have you in the movie industry. So, I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, shooting the movie is mine. The most be fashion in the movie. Isn't it? Sure. So, how were you able to implement fashion in the movie is mine because i know whatever we're doing now people want to see how fashionable or the actor is the director must direct it in a way to promote fashion so tell us how you are able to promote fashion in your project one thing i can say there is no day you go without a fashion we live a fashion everything is being fashion like we all like i, I said earlier on I'm half of the crew, like they're all celebrities, like they've got their own huge fan base. And um, I'm sure they're all fashionists, I think that's the reason why I actually like, went after them because I saw what they've got and I'm like this, this, this is what I really need to get into this movie and because of their fashion, I got attracted to most of the cast that I cast in this movie. 
So uh, what is shooting? Do, do you have a special costumier for the entire crew or each actor come with their own special we costumier? We had a costumier that helped with the costume because um, you can't put on certain things whereby your role doesn't call for it, you know. So you need to dress accordingly to your role. So if you're a house girl, you're not expected to be in shoes or whatever. You need to dress like a house girl. So, so the, that's the, the, the cast right is there. not coming with a, with, a, with a costume. You've got a costume here that costume. We got some of them, like it was all planned. It was all planned. We can't even give because Sierra is like coming up, we're trying to develop into movie. Like we don't have everything. Like, really, like yeah, but, of the world. yeah. But I think what I had was like a family that we came together and we, we worked together. And I achieved the goal. Yes. That's amazing. Uh, we're going on a short break. When we come back, we're going to be talking more detail about how fashion trending is helping the industry to grow to the next level and the challenges behind it. We're coming with the challenges. We're going on a short break. We'll be back. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're still on the show, Fashion Doctor 101, with your boy, Oshmani John, and I'm with Queen in the studio. Uh, the CEO of Porsche Entertainment and CEO. Yes. Let them know the CEO is here. Let them feel you. <laughs> I am right here. Let them feel the swag of the CEO. You know, CEO can wow. can have some swag that other people don't. Let them know you are the CEO. CEO is just a normal human being, like you know, easygoing and that's that amazing. Just me. Some some CEO are not like that. Some CEO are bossy. They want to play. You know, that one. The CEO is here. So it's good to have a very simple CEO. If you have a CEO, you get Porsche things difficult to get done. So now I'm gonna ask you about something that is really uh, having people with engage with issues now on the social media. Uh, the trend that we have now in the fashion industry, when you wear an outfit and it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on all the social media, TikTok, every other social media, that's the end of the outfit. How are you coping as a celebrity, as a queen, as an entertainer? How are you coping in the industry that is not presently bringing income? Uh, are you coping with changing costume every time? Well, that's an everyday life struggle. That's the fashion world. And um, for example, like... Oh, yeah. That, that dress, there is no way you're going to wear it again. That's the end of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. That's what I'm talking and, about. Yeah, and Those are the challenges. Yes, and with this fashion thing as well, some of this fashion that you see is on media, you can write them for photo shoot. It's not like something that you actually need to put on to go out during the day. So that's the thing. I think they are missing the concept with this whole fashion thing as well. It's going wrong somehow. Uh, how can you tell us the way it's going on? And which way do you think it's like going on? Like some costumes are meant for a, a video shoot. Some girls will see that on a video clip and they think it's okay. They will just bite the same or get a tailor to sew it and walk on the street with it. No, it was meant for a special occasion. That's the thing. Like, it's what I think. No, you, 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 you're making a point, you're making a very good point. Some outfits are make, uh, meant for uh, events, yeah. some outfits are meant for evening uh, cocktail party, some outfits are meant for official movement, so it depends on where you're going that you put on a particular outfit. But a lot of people are not getting it right, so she's trying to educate you that you don't know that. When you see a cloth on a social media uh, andu, and you think because that person is wearing it, you don't know the person's mission, you don't know where she's heading to. But because you see it on her, you too you want to wear that kind of outfit and at the end of the day, you people are asking why will you wear this on the street? And you say so they wear the fashion can wear it. Go wrong. Yeah. They're where the fashion will always go wrong. Because like if Sarah is going to wear a beach wear, like it's purposely for her video. She wouldn't dare to wear it to go out in the street. But like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to learn from that. Learn how the fashion works. When Some and costumes how. Are... When and how. Yeah, when and how. For example, you go into a premiere. You can wear a jean, but you wouldn't get put in this. Or you can wear a trouser. It could be like a material. Kind of, it should be classic. 
like if you don't want to put on the gown or something, but you can set me in your coat suit without a jean, like something is different. different. Different location, different fashion. So it's really good to have you around for you to let people know what's going on and how they can uh, dress when you're going to different kind of events, different kind of occasion. So uh, the next thing I want to ask you is... For example, yeah. if I'm supposed to go to my daughter's school now, I wouldn't put this on to go to a campus. Oh yeah? It doesn't show any... Good model. Yeah. So it, that's how it is. You need to know when and how. When and how yeah. is the theme for today. When and how. Yeah. So as you can see, she keep repeating it, when and how. You can wear any clothes you want, but it depends on when, when and how. So you should know where you're going and how the place is so that you can know the kind of outfit that fits in. So that's really amazing. Uh, the next thing I was going to ask you is uh, the, movie, the movie business. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do you do aside from movie business? Oh, actually, in the UK I was doing my level 5 health and social care management. Okay. And I work as well. Okay. So yeah, so you it's a balance thing. I wouldn't because my country we are trying to boost it up. It's not easy. Oh yeah. Hello. Yeah, we don't have that much of help. It's not only with me and my movie, but with the whole civil entertainment industry as a whole. Yeah. yeah like we're struggling. Well, you 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 have come. You stepped in because. You see, there is lapses in some place where you believe you can fill it, or you can fill it up, and you've added your own parts. If we have single individuals like you coming up from different countries, adding value, the industry will come up. Yeah, it would. I wish it would. Even you trying to take the bold step, like I wanna do it. The 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 industry is is something that you have got to have a thick skin. You have really got to be strong. Cause it's so frustrating. Cause I remember when I came to do this movie, it was not easy. Like during the the shooting period, like every day I would cry before I go to bed. But I knew you? because like it's so frustrating. Like this is your own passion. You spent all of this money that like, you need to get things done. Like some people are not taking their things serious. Like don't really. Like most people that have featured, some of them have never a day shared a flyer. Do you understand? But. It's just courage, because once you've got a passion for something, you need to work to where you need to like, who is with you or who is not, not with you. But you just got to be strong and keep moving till you can eventually get to make the right help. That's amazing. You have a shirt that was a shirt all over. Can we see it? Oh, yeah. What's that all about? Um, this were some, I think that's a long sleeve one. These were shirts that I printed for the premiere. Okay. Yeah. You can see the dates was there. Oh, really? No, that's the price. Yeah, that's the. Okay, okay. Yeah. So these are the superstar feature. Yeah. In the movie, uh, he is mine. He is mine. Okay. Well, and at the back, what do you have? That's Porsche Entertainment. Oh, that's Porsche Entertainment logo. Yeah. Porsche Entertainment. That's amazing. Thank you. I can see you're Porsche, indeed. <laughs> if you're not Porsche, you can't have the entertainment that is Porsche. So. Is this for sale or is it strictly for the premium? Uh, what I did like, because I had the mug, the um, notebook, and some pens, and a few other just to... Okay, it's a complete like souvenir. A it's a souvenir that was for the... To, like the, v, um, the uh, Patreon. The guests. Yeah, because I was going to do for 250 guests. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to give like, you know, gift. Oh, that's amazing. That's very really thoughtful of you. So, now that the, uh, the premiere is being postponed, uh, the people will be pre informed when you plan towards a new uh, date, right? Yeah, I'm thinking of April because I think I need to give myself time. And meanwhile, I want to shoot another, so like I don't need to it. wait okay. because I didn't premiere this and delayed. Okay. I'd rather just, yeah, I've got something good here, yeah, but still, I'm not gonna wait. I need to stay, keep pushing. Okay, uh, shooting in Sri alone, uh, can you tell a few of the challenges? With the, with the, with the, with the director, with the director of photography, with, with the, the cast. entire team, with the, with the cast. cast, with the audio man, with the visual man, yeah. the costumier, the makeup, which of them is more 
My entire team was okay. Like I don't know if this one, but this one was okay. The production the team was perfect. perfect. But the only people I had problem was some of the cast. The Me local or the international the cast? The local. The local cast. Yeah. Wow. So the local cast, please. I've got some that will even walk out on set during shooting time. Can you imagine how frustrating that can be? Why are they working out? The feel intimidated or the feel? Sometimes that. That's the thing I'm telling you is frustrating. It's really frustrating. So if just for a little thing, they'll just get upset and because um, the maid will come after them to bed them. Definitely they will do it. Oh uh, really, if we want this industry to go to the next level, there is no need for frustrating our producers, our investors, our directors. We need to be able to work hand in hand to achieve the goal. It's the teamwork. Yeah. It is not one man job. They said yeah. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So if we really need to achieve what we're looking towards, we need to work together. So, Madam Posh, uh, we like to finalize by asking you something. Okay. Uh, doing movie, uh, do you intend doing it as a businesswoman or are you doing it as a hobby? Well, in life, anything you do, that you're putting money, you should know you should get it back. You should try to get something out of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's a hobby, it's a business. Okay, both, two in one. Both. Because at the end of the day it's gonna sell. So okay. then when the business comes. Alright. So she's in for business and at the same time she like to sleep. Let me know who played the lead role. Was it you? The female leader. The female leader. I did. That's amazing. So, who is he that is mine? That's the Mr. Serenjian here. Mr. Serenjian. Out in Mansaray. So, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine. And we've got Kenji Pama, housemate. Okay. And who else do we have there? We've got Shihab. Okay. And we've got Karashika Mama, Big H. From where? Um, she's in the state. Okay. She's an award-winning actress, and we've got Nina Sky. Okay. All of them are big, big, and that's magic. They were, they were all in the alone while you were shooting, yeah. and after shooting, they all went back. Oh, yeah. So it's good to have all of them to come over and support the production of that movie, East Mine. I hope East Mine will be premiered here in the alone. And you're going to be premiering in the UK and the US at the same time, or you just want to premiere in the alone? Um, like the director and Big H, because they based in the state, so yeah, I don't want to do it there. Okay, well. so if you are out there, you've heard about it, but you've not seen it, uh, be, be, be ready. It will be coming to your TV screen, it will be coming to your premiere screen, where they'll be premiering it for you to enjoy what has been shot at promoting tourism and entertainment from Sierra Leone at the same time. Is my probably is gonna be educative, so you will learn more things from that. You will. So, like you, you just will. heard from the from the producer. So you are the executive producer for this movie. Yeah. Ah, that's amazing. If we look at the overall cost on the movie, is it a one thousand dollar movie or a ten thousand dollar movie? Are you serious? Oh yeah, we need to know what it costs. Well. I need to go into my budget. Mm, everybody it's on the proposal. I'm sure you've got my proposal already. So uh, no. What we're talking about is a lot of people want to come into the movie scene. We need to welcome um, them. Yeah, but you, so if, if, we, money, if we don't let them know that it's an investment of what? $1,000, $3,000 thereabout? That's chicken chain. You wouldn't even get a movie of two, three, four, five thousand. Because with this project and what like I, I picture and what I got, it's more, yeah. So she said she spent probably about $5,000. It's more than that. We're talking about £20,000. Jesus is a Muslim. <laughs> so. <laughs> so if she has invested that much in yeah. a project, she needs to make her money back. Yeah. And that is when she can be able to produce more and more. And that's where we can have constant serial content on DSTV and a couple of other platforms like Satcon, ITV and the rest of other decoders that are showing movies. So if you like City Alone Industry, support City Alone Industry. Yeah. Patronize City Alone Industry, patronize City Alone Entertainment. Mm -hmm. 
We love you. Keep it on to Pocket TV. I don't okay. know how she John. And she wanna say a word to you. You wanna say a word to your people before you leave? Oh yes, my people, my salon people, and they are the Naya. So I can do this interview. I can represent um the Sierra Leone Entertainment. Um, yeah, with the Naya. So on a watch out, the date will soon be out for this movie. Here's mine. So soon we get the date, Ashwani, yeah, you guys will get to know the date because this is a blockbusted movie. All right. Ready for push up fast. So now come out, long support. Well, we know since you people can come together and, and be good here. Yeah, so we can do a, a very sharp. So thanks for uh, being there to follow us from beginning to the end of the interview. I remain Ashwani John, uh, your host for the show fashion doctor and as you can see she's a fashion person she's out there looking extraordinary classic as a beauty queen a serial queen so she's amazing thank you very much for watching thank you for having me